Easy guys, Dom here from Cringy Dad Gaming. So, in this video, I'm going to give you a few pointers on how to get your hands on the Navigator's helmet. Not only does it look cool, but it will actually unlock a hidden weapon for you, which is known as the Plasma Cutter. Once this weapon's fully upgraded, it can be a pretty formidable weapon in your arsenal. Now, due to the game's procedural generation, this may be different for quite a lot of you on how you find these items, but there are some fundamental rules that will always be in play, which is what we're going to discuss. So this is found in the Narud region of the world map. Your journey could start out in something like Seeker's Rest or maybe the Forgotten Prison. You're going to go through into one area at the beginning, which is going to be something like the Abyssal Rift or maybe the Phantom Wasteland. From here, what you need to do is you need to find a dungeon. And usually it's the dungeon that has a yellow circle with a black exclamation mark on it, which shows you're going through the quest area. Now, as an example, I found the helmet by going from Seeker's Rest to the Phantom Wasteland, then through the Putrid Domain, which is where I had a boss, and then that led me through to Timeless Horizon. Now, once you've gone through that first dungeon, it's either going to take you to something like Timeless Horizon or the Eon Vault. And from there, I was able to find the Extraction Hub, which is where this helmet was located. Now, you'll know when you've found the Extraction Hub because it's like these large drills or hammers or pumps or something, but there's these large pistons that are slamming down into the ground. You can also hear an alarm going off in that area. And that is when you know you have found the extraction hub. So when you explore the area around the extraction hub, there are these hammers hit in the floor, as I've mentioned. If you look underneath one of these, you will notice that there is a hole and you can actually see the hole on your map once you're close enough. So, you know, do inspect that. Now you will have to time this so you don't get squashed. But it's not really that difficult. Once it's slammed into the ground, all you've got to do is crouch. And once you've got enough room to crawl underneath, crawl and drop down into the hole. Now there's going to be a number of space worker zombies down here, which you'll need to kill. Once you've killed all of them down here, there should be one that will drop the helmet. Now, if it doesn't work for you straight away, you can always just go back to the checkpoint crystal and just refresh the enemies, drop back down, rinse and repeat until you get the helmet drop. Okay, so now you've got yourself a pretty badass looking helmet, but there's more to this helmet than meets the eye. You will actually be able to unlock that weapon that I mentioned earlier on, the Plasma Cutter. But what we need to do is we need to get to a place called Titan's Reach, which is a spacecraft wreckage. And it may mean that you may need to re-roll your adventure by going back to Ward 13, going to the world map and then going into world settings and yeah, just re-roll your adventure. The great thing about this is you can just keep playing through Narud as many times as you want until you get the events that you need to be able to do this. The other option you've got is to maybe search for an online game and join someone else's world and they may already be in that area. That could be easier for you, but I'll leave that up to you. Now in this instance I went from the Abyssal Rift through Putrid Domain into the Eon Vault and it was in the Eon Vault area that I found Titan's Reach. Now this is a pretty hard to miss space crash to be honest with you. The only thing really here that you need to look out for is a hole in the side of the spacecraft that you can crawl into. Now you will need to have the helmet equipped to be able to activate this sensor and then the door will open and inside this room is the plasma cutter. Oh, my 
a lucky day. And that's pretty much it, guys. You've now got yourself a badass looking helmet and a pretty decent futuristic style weapon to go off and shoot loads of drones or space worker zombies with or even little space critters whatever you want to do with it you can just go and shoot stuff and look badass so if this video has helped you then don't forget to like comment and subscribe why not check out some of my other remnant 2 videos so i'll catch you guys on another video and thanks for watching